Hi everyone and welcome back to the Crafty Yellow Camper um, and today I have a card for you that is a um, fancy fold, quite a simple one, um, using the horse and sleigh stamp set and the dies that coordinate with that. Um, these are not in any of the catalogues, these are an online exclusive and there is a pack of papers that goes with these as well, six by six papers. Um, which I thought I'd left on my desk to show you and I clearly must have actually tidied away um, but don't take my word for it they're, they're gorgeous have a look online uh, on the online exclusives um, section of the website okay so um, this is the card that we're going to make today it's sort of a cross between a Z fold and a joy fold um, if that makes sense and um, it's really quite simple and easy to put together so these are the papers or one of the designs of papers that are in the um, six by six pack that goes with it I'll um, see if I can find them for you in a second but I'll just quickly talk you through this card first now I did record a video showing you exactly how to make this card and halfway through it my phone decided there was no storage left so <laughs> rather than make it for a third time um, because I'd already made one for a demonstration card, I'm going to talk you through how I did it because it really isn't that difficult. Okay, so the first thing you will need is a piece of um, cardstock. Now, I've used soft suede, possibly early espresso, actually. Let me have a little look. Yes, sorry. I've used early espresso cardstock, and what I've done is um, I have cut half of an A4 sheet so if you are in um, a country that uses the letter size obviously half your sheet will work just as well if you're in um, a country that uses A4 this is half of an A4 cut lengthways so that's cut at ten and a half wide by the complete length of the card um, I've then scored and folded that at 14.8 which is roughly halfway across an A4 sheet but if you use letter size obviously do that as well Okay, and then I've got an extra piece of card, which is this piece here. And this piece of card is cut at four centimetres by 13 centimetres. Okay, so you've got the length of an A4 sheet cut at 10 and a half wide, scored at 14.8. And then an additional piece of card stock, again in the early espresso, which is four centimetres deep and 13 centimetres long. Now, the reason it's 13 centimetres long is because you need to score it to have a flap. Now, I made this card. I don't think you can really see because it blends in. There you go. I made this card with the flap on the back of the card, but I don't like it like that. So um, what I'm going to suggest is, is that when you put your internal layer into the card like that, and this is how my ladies made it in my class, you tuck the flap of this piece underneath the white before you stick it down to write on it and it just gives it a neater finish I mean with it attached to the back it does blend in but you know I know it's there so I'm not happy with it okay so the um sorry I've told you the measurements wrong actually this piece of brown is four centimeters wide but it's 14.8 long so that is um basically a piece of a4 card cut in half across um, and scored at 13 sorry that's why I told you 13 so this is 13 by 4 but you need the extra 1.8 centimeter to make your flat okay what I've done then is I've taken a piece of the 6x6 designer series paper let me just see if I can find them my craft room is an absolute mess because I haven't, um, I have fibre in my outdoor and I haven't put away the class uh, papers and what have you yet. And I, on top of that, I've also done a craft session at the local community garden. So everything's everywhere right at the minute. So here we go. So here are the papers. They're all double-sided. Um, there are several designs. And if our memory serves me correctly, there are six sheets of each design. So we've got that one this one which is basically the cottage during the day and that one is the nighttime one um that's got this red on the back the nighttime one has got this nice green what else have we got 
Sorry, my hands always flare up when I have a fibro flare up, which I have had this weekend and it makes it difficult to hold things. This is one of my favourite. I mean, how cute is that? And on the back of that, you've got this sort of nice green. Um, all of the backs of these cards are perfectly usable for any other occasion after Christmas. This one I love. It's sort of like either a sunset or, the, or a sunrise through the trees. That's got this really nice sort of uh, diamondy green backing. There's this one, which has got a really nice sort of bleached wood effect on the back. Um, this one, which has got quite a nice blue with sort of a, a little dot, dotage on the back in sort of lines. Um, this one, trees and a fence. And that's got this sort of... Um, what colour that is actually, I don't know whether that's pecan pie, um, sort of pattern on the back. This one, with this nice red on the back, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Oh this one, this is another one of my favourites with this cute little fox, um, it's got this really nice dark wood grain effect on the back. This one, I keep saying this is another one of my favourites, but they're, they're all gorgeous. That's got this really nice sort of red, um, almost hessian pattern on the back. This one, which looks like you're looking down from the upper tree, down the forest floor. This one would pair really nicely with the Winter Owls stamp set that we've got. Um, and that's got this sort of blue and white stripe on the back. Yeah, that one, Go back to the Winter Owls, that would look like an owl's, owl's eye view, wouldn't it? using that one and then we've got this one and that's got a really nice uh, tree pattern on the back I think that is it yes it is so yeah so the colors that are in this if you're never sure of the colors always look on the back because it does tell you so you've got basic black boho blue cajun craze crumb cake early espresso lemon lolly lost lagoon misty moonlight mossy meadow old olive pebbled path pecan pie petal pink pool party real red and wild wheat so that's a really good selection of colors you've got in there for base colors and what have you and as i said there are 48 sheets of six by six in here all double-sided and i'm pretty sure as i said that there are six of each design so that paper even though the front side of it is all christmas or winter birthdays perfect for winter birthdays actually um, the back side of it, let's just take that off, is usable for the entire year round. Look at that. Some great ones there, particularly if you struggle with um, design series paper for masculine cards. There's some great ones in there that would work really well. So it isn't just for Christmas. Okay. Right, so let's put that out of the way and get back to the card. Okay, so I've given you the card measurements. Then what I've done is I've taken a sheet of the six by six papers that I've just shown you, and I've cut the main card front down to 10 centimeters by 14.3. And that layers up on our card front there. And then this section here for this piece of the card stock, you can't really see because I've got the sleigh on it. That is three and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres. But what I've actually done is I've used the, the bottom section of this six by six sheet. Because you're going to put the sleigh and the horse over the top of it, it does, you don't really see much of it. So it doesn't matter that it doesn't match up exactly. OK, so that's the DSP. Then what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've stamped the horse and the sleigh image. Now, the nice people at Stampin' Up have given us a die that cuts out the horse and the sleigh. But what they've also done is given us some extra dies. So this die here, that cuts out the runners for the sleigh. And this die here cuts the scrolly part of the sleigh that fits in here. Now I've chosen not to use them this time and I've just colored my horse and sleigh using the blends and I've added a little bit of um, Wink of Stella. But if you wanted to make it really stand out, this die, as I said, this scrolly shaped die fits here. You could cut that in silver and equally, or gold, and you could cut the um, runners in a metallic finish as well if you wanted to do that. Okay, and as I said, I've just used my blends um, to colour these. They work really well for colouring those. And then to put it together, as I said, uh, matte layer on the front, 
before you stick your inside piece of card in, stick your scored section here on the inside of the card. Then stick your white piece in front of it, which will cover up most of the flap then. And then once you've die cut your horse and sleigh and coloured it in, they just get mounted up onto the flap. And you just need to remember to, I've used dimensionals, to only put dimensionals on the bottom half because you don't want to stick your card together. Okay, so that's a quick run through with that suite. As I said, it's available on the online exclusives, not in any of the catalogues, stamp set, dies, papers. Okay, hope you like the card and I hope you'll give it a go. It's really simple but effective. Great for anything that's got, um, you know, vehicles or whatever along it. And in actual fact, I've just managed to lay my hands on this punch. And this is the, this is another online exclusive. This is the trucking along punch. And that coordinates with this stamp set. Um, there aren't any other, uh, aren't any design series papers or anything that goes with it. But you've got lots of options here. You've got the trucks. And this is a two, I get my teeth in, two step stamping set. So for each image you've got, there is a fill-in image. So you've got the outside of the truck, the, the line drawing of the truck, you've got the fill-in of the truck. And then there's a Christmas tree to go in. There are clouds. There's a palm tree if you're sending a Christmas card to anybody that might live on the other side of the world. And there, it's summer there. There's presents. There are flowers. There's trees. There's more flowers. And there's little bits of sort of fence and grass. And one thing I love, I love it when they do this, these, this little stamp here, which gives the image of, um, of it moving, just grounds it. You really need something like that. Okay, so um, this set equally would work with this card. Um, and in fact, I will be giving it a try in a little while to make some slightly different Christmas cards. So when I do that, I'll record a video for you. So I'm sorry that that wasn't actually a video of me putting the entire card together, but hopefully you've got the gist. Any questions, feel free to message me or put a message in the comments underneath the video. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you all again soon. Happy stamping!